Hi, welcome to SBR TV. I'm Peter Loshak. This is our uh, preview of UFC 142. We are joined once again by returning guest Nick Kalika, sitting right next to me, MMA odds maker and consultant for DSI Sportsbook. Nick, thanks once again for being here. Thanks for having me. And we've also got joining in on the phone this time, Brett Okamoto from ESPN.com. Brett, thanks so much for doing this call with us. No problem, guys. Thanks for having me. All right, great. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting card, this one. It's in Brazil, right? There's a lot of Brazilian fighters. Now, I don't know if, uh, if they should have a, a home, you know, home country advantage here on the lines. The first fight we're going to look at is, is Chad Mendes and uh, Jose Aldo. Now, Aldo is, is a pretty big favorite here, minus 245. It's a classic striker versus grappler bout, um, but Mendes is undefeated. Aldo looked invincible until, you know, a couple fights recently. He's looked a little bit so-so. Minus 245, that's kind of a big line. Brett, what, what do you make of that line? Uh, I think the line is about right, and honestly, yeah. uh, when I first when I first saw it, I, I thought that Chad Mendes was probably the the correct call. I mean, I think that Chad Mendes gets overlooked. His takedowns are are one of the best in that division, and he's just terrific at, at smothering guys from the top and not getting submitted. You know, I mean, uh, and we've seen Jose Aldo in that fight against Mark Hominick. It was just one round, but he had trouble fighting off his back. It might have been just because he was simply exhausted, but uh, it's definitely not an area where he's a dynamic. Uh, as he is on his feet. So I, I kind of liked Chad Mendes to maybe get the fight to the ground. I thought there was some value on that line, but the more I broke the fight down, I think Mendes is just doesn't have the experience to contend with Aldo. So I think that, that the line is correct. I think that Aldo, especially fighting in Brazil, is probably going to win this one. Right. So the line's about on. Now, Nick, where'd you open this line? It opened right where it is right, right now, okay. 245. Right. Moved up a little bit, moved back down, so then it's settling right now. Um, and let's just say this, too. Chad Mendes is actually the closest dog. I mean, this is a tight line for a, a Jose Aldo fight. Mm -hmm. He's normally a huge favorite. I mean, he's definitely one of the pound-for-pound -pound fight, best fighters in the world. So we're respecting Mendes for sure here. He can mm -hmm. definitely win this fight. Right. Okay. So then uh, is this sort of like, a, since you think the line is pretty tight, is this sort of like a low volume, low betting volume type? Um, no, I think we're going to get two-way action. Yeah. Um, and I think we're going to probably see the line increase a little bit. Jose mm -hmm. Aldo is going to become a larger favorite um, because he does get so much respect. Um, but like I said, I think it, it's going to be an interesting fight. The later it goes, I think um, that Mendes is going to have an advantage. And if he could win rounds three, four, and five, he could probably steal a decision. But it's going to be interesting because he's going to have to weather the Aldo storm, which right. is going to be vicious at some time. Right. Know? So then maybe maybe Aldo by a you know by a knockout in the first or second round uh, might be a good bet. What do you think, Brett? Yeah, that's always a good bet with Aldo. But you know, in reality, he really hasn't shown the killer instinct that he displayed when he was fighting in the WEC. I mean, it used to be that uh, putting money on on a, on a first round knockout for Jose Aldo was you felt pretty good about it. But lately, he's just been uh, much more calculated. I don't know if that's because he respects the guys he's fighting in the UFC more. You can't really say that because it's the same guys. It's just a different organization now. I don't know if it's just the UFC jitters possibly that you hear about that is making him uh, you know, less likely to pull the trigger, but he's just been slightly more conservative than he used to be. So, um, you know, I agree with Nick. I think that the longer the fight goes, the better chance Chad Mendes has. Um, I don't think Chad Mendes is going to finish Jose Aldo. I think if he gets it done, it's going to be by decision. Right. So if you want to put a little extra value on your bet, then yeah, you should take Aldo in the beginning rounds. But um, I think it's a pretty safe play to just take him over on the fight. I just mm. think that he is head and shoulders just a better fighter than Chad Mendes at this point in their careers. Okay.